Let's move on then. Let's stay in the Algarve um, because I love to hear about the legends that have been part of making tourism in Portugal what it is, you know, the contributors to Portuguese culture. Uh, of course, the legendary Delta leader, uh, Rui Nabeira, I think his name was, who died recently. His backstory is incredible and well worth a read. Will we find out now about another Portuguese uh, legend with, with an incredible contribution to the culture, especially down there in Val de Lobo in the Algarve? Let's look to the Portugal resident for this one. And uh, while we're there, we'll have a look at a few of their headlines as well. Uh, former Val de Lobo owner then, Sander van Gelder. Doesn't sound Portuguese necessarily, but it might be like that British guy who was one of the early adopters of travel to the Algarve. I must look into him again. Uh, there are there are these key figures who, who discovered the Algarve, it would seem, as foreigners, I'm saying. Of course, it's, it's very patronising and condescending to say discovering the Algarve because, of course, there were <laughs> local people there. Uh, I'm talking about discovering it as foreigners and attracting other foreigners to come. OK, so no disrespect intended there. Former Val de Lobo owner Sander van Gelder dying at 85. Let's find out more about this person. Sander van Gelder, Dutch entrepreneur then, um, as you might have guessed from the name van Gelder, best known for turning the Algarve's luxury resort Val de Lobo into a success story, passed away last Sunday at the age of 85 back in the Netherlands. Born in 1937, Mr. van Gelder discovered Val de Lobo himself. It was there already. Um, he, he chanced upon it during a holiday himself in the mid-1970s. His initial goal was simply to purchase a holiday, but after having recognised the resort's potential, mid-1970s, when some of you were seeing the Rolling Stones, um, he decided to buy it and move to Portugal in 1977. That's quite amazing, isn't it? Okay, I'm on, I'm in having a holiday in the Algarve. Um, it's quite nice. I think I'm going to buy it. <laughs> the, the place that is, not just the holiday. At the time, the image of Portugal wasn't famous as the revolution had shaken the credibility of Portuguese institutions. So this was what? Um, three years after the revolution. Good timing for... Uh, Senor van Gelder, I think. But although the specialists advised against investing economically in the country, whoops, so experts, professionals who we were urging you to uh, connect with in the last segment uh, didn't come up with the best of advice here. Advising against investing economically in Portugal, I decided to take the risk, the entrepreneur told uh, Correa da Manhã over 20 years ago. Amazing. That's a direct quote then from Senor van Gelder at the time. The image of Portugal wasn't famous as the revolution had shaken the credibility of Portuguese institutions. But although specialists advised against investing economically in the country, I decided to take a risk. Fantastic. The resort was run under his ownership for the next 30 years, a period. And we've stayed there. We, we enjoyed our stay there in which an 18 hole golf course and many facilities, including bars, restaurants and shops were built. Val de Loba went on to thrive, cementing its place in the so-called Golden Triangle, consisting of Villa Moura, Quinta de Lago, and, of course, Val de Lobo. His work at Val de Lobo was recognised by the Portuguese government, which awarded him a gold medal of touristic merit in 2004. In 2007, Mr. Van Gelver sold Val de Lobo to a group of Portuguese and international investors, including the na largest national bank, Caixa Geral de Depositos, uh, Alda Felipe, presently regional director at Kronos Homes, who worked alongside Mr. Sander van Gelder for many years, has elaborated on the impact the entrepreneur had on the region as a whole. This is what uh, Alda Felipe said. A truly exceptional person has passed away. We must honour and remember the extraordinary legacy of Mr. Sander van Gelder, the beloved father that he's referred to as, and visionary behind the Val de Lobo Resort for over 30 years. 1977 to 2007, she said. Mr. Van Gelder's dedication, leadership and entrepreneurial spirit were the driving forces behind the remarkable success of Val de Lobo with its unparalleled insight. He envisioned a community that seamlessly blended luxury, natural beauty and a vibrant lifestyle. Truly an inclusion for us, really, in the expat hall of fame, uh, which we started some time ago. For three decades, Mr. Van Gelder guided Val de Lobo with unwavering commitment, nurturing its growth and transforming not only the place, but also the entire Algarve region into a world-renowned destination. Alda Philippe added, on a personal level, I had the privilege of working closely with Mr. Van Gelder for many years. All of this happening because he chanced upon a holiday in the Algarve. Amazing, isn't it? And he had an immense 
Impact on my life continues, Alda Philippe, both personally and professionally. He not only served as my mentor, but also challenged me to push beyond my limits, encouraged me to embrace new opportunities, and inspired me to strive for excellence. Together, we shared countless unforgettable moments. The legacy left by Mr. Van Gelder is enormous and will remain forever present in Val de Loba and in the lives of all those he had the privilege, or those who had the privilege of crossing his path. Wow, love that. Love to hear the the backstory of these uh, places that are now, well, internationally renowned and known, uh, uh, which they weren't, of course, in 1977, if not for his uh, purchase and promotion of the place. And, and, and of course, the whole team, his team, uh, Portuguese local community, who will have, of, of course, played a part in this whole success story, uh, of, which he, of which he is the pinnacle and will be remembered for. Incredible. Great stuff. Uh, let's see uh, what is being said in the chat. Nothing, in fact. Uh, 